Well, hi there, I'm Tom Malone. Very much looking forward to the action at Navin on Sunday. We start things off with a maiden, as per usual, with the Irish Stanley Farms EBF maiden over just over five furlongs. And in this one, really like the chances of the Aidan O'Brien trained Amalfi Coast. Fascinating, this uh, guy's by showcasing, obviously not the most uh, regular uh, stallion to be used by Coolmore. Picked up for a 200 grand as a yearling, so intriguing to see how he goes. Ryan Moore booked on board that one in the second race of the afternoon going to post at 20 past two it's the uh, Kilberry Apprentice handicapped this 45 to 70 and really like the chance here previous course and distance winner that's uh, Pat Martin's pretty smart very different ground to when he last won here but I uh, think that one can do the trick in the second race of the day another sprint handicap then at 10 to 3 is the Irish Stallion Farms EBF Phillies handicap and uh, in this one really like the chances of the Tracy Collins trained runner independent Missy uh, First chance at five furlongs. That's not a uh, massive surprise, but has good form on quick ground when just touched off on debut at the Curragh over six furlongs. So the stiff five should be no trouble to her and uh, slightly uh, easier for her on, uh, on Sunday as well. At 20 past three is the first of the pattern action. It's the listed committed stakes. And Lipazena just jumps off the card here. Fourth in the uh, Breeders' Cup at the back end of last year. Top rated in the race. And it uh, wouldn't be a massive surprise if this is the uh, sort of first step on a, a big sprinting year for Lipazena over the course of the rest of the season. Our second pattern action of the uh, afternoon is the Irish Stallion Farms EBF Salsabil Stakes. Ten furlongs go for this one. And it's absolutely chock full of horses with big group one entries later on in the year, including Port Sunlight, who's entered in the uh, in the Oaks and the uh, the Irish Oaks and the uh, English Oaks as well. By Harz and Ushinor on board. Winner when last seen. Like so many of these, kind of difficult to rate. Uh, obviously, April shares we'd expect to have a massive chance, but uh, just think that Dermot Wells Philly, who has plenty of uh, decent entries to come. By Harz and as well, a classic winner. Uh, Port Sunlight can oblige there at ten to four. Then the Vintage Crop stakes his Group 3 contest over a mile and six, and Santiago absolutely jumps off the page here. Queen's Vaughs winner, fourth behind Stradivarius when last seen. He's nothing like that class of opposition on Sunday, and you'd expect Santiago to go on to much better things, and you would think be the sort of main Bally Doyle challenger to, uh, to Stradivarius over the course of the remainder of the season. Then we close out with the two divisions of the Dunamore Handicap at 10 to 4. It wouldn't be a massive surprise to see uh, Joseph O'Brien take the uh, first leg of this one, Lady Dahlia by Australia, stepping up in trip and a winner when last seen as well. So expect Lady Dahlia to take the first division of the Dunamore Handicap. And in the closing race of the afternoon, we really think the uh, Tony Martin trained share the honour has a good chance there. Robbie Colgan on board, fourth when last seen at Dundalk. That was actually a better race than this. Steps down in trip as well, will handle the quick going, has a bit of race fitness on his side. And he's about the relatively local trained share the honour to take the lucky last on what's a very good card at Navin on Sunday.